So some people may wonder, what is ag precision agriculture? Isn't agriculture precise enough? Well, it's kind of the process of taking a, let's say a field, a plot of land on a farm and using sensors in the ground, in the air. I think there's even some sensors that are kind of set like in between the air sensor and the ground sensor to kind of give a um, almost like a another level of uh, sensor activity and sensitivity but it's pretty much having sensors um, that may be able to read pH the humidity the soil the moisture content the like really everything and anything there's I think there's even some sensors to help with like sensing if there's some like pathogen or pest in the ground or in the air um, and also using like drones and GPS powered semi-autonomous um, vehicles to be able to kind of plant and harvest the crop and with the drones they are able to kind of use cameras to almost see a bird's eye view of the overall crop because on the ground it could look like your crops are looking beautiful but when you look at the air you can kind of see even in normal photography like I don't know maybe certain areas of the field are obviously looking weaker and less um, obviously less healthy compared to some of the other sections of the farm and they may also have like infrared and um, I don't know like sonar systems to kind of get an idea on the uh, some of the infrared stuff I don't even really understand but it pretty much helps with the like soil health um, and the sonar helps with like measuring the height of the plant if you don't want to be measuring a single stalk of corn or something but it's pretty much where agriculture is going and because it's like the combination of computer systems with plant science it's like anyone who's a computer programmer or a computer science major or computer engineer major type thing like they could easily go into this and while they may not understand say the plant side of things they understand the computer side of things and with a farmer explaining what he needs he's better able to kind of um, cater to not to allow the computer engineer to kind of program in say a pH probe that is set in each corner of the field in the middle of the field and maybe five to ten randomized sections in the field and then have an algorithm or something that will compile all the data and kind of explain a kind of average um, almost sure like an average soil health um, there's so much stuff about this that I could easily go on for a half hour about this and I don't want to bore you if you don't understand anything that I'm talking about but it's a uh, pretty exciting field <laughs>